Good morning everyone and welcome to Friday. I apologize for the tech issues earlier on. I was hoping to go live but um, shooting a second video so that all the information's there and it's all together as the live didn't work as well as I had hoped it to. But I will re-evaluate and try and get that sorted for next week. So let's get started for today. We're going to start with our arm circles and I'm going to try and group together some of the other things that we've been doing this week as well. So let's get our arms up and ready to go. We're going to go forwards, big forward circles, and then stop, and big backward circles, and stop, and then let's do little forward circles, and then let's do little backward circles, and let's do medium backwards, and let's do medium forwards. And then we were doing just our elbows this week. Forwards and backwards, just with our elbows. And let's do the other hand. Elbow and backwards and forwards. And then let's do our wrist. If you remember, our wrist was that little bony bit between our hand and our arm. And then if we do our other wrist and then change direction, and change direction on this one because we didn't change direction. Now I have a challenge. So we've been practicing this week moving just our fingers. So what I want to see if you can do is put your arms out and just move your Peter pointer finger backwards and then forwards. And then let's see if you can have your arms out and move your thumbs forwards and backwards and try your little finger forwards and then backwards. Okay everyone, let's do our fingers. So, thumb, Peter pointer, middle, ring, little, little, ring, middle, Peter pointer, thumb. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, let's do the other hand. Let's do thumb, Peter pointer, middle, ring, little, little, ring, middle, Peter pointer, thumb. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Let's try and do both hands together. Thumb, Peter Pointer, middle, ring, little, little, ring, middle, Peter Pointer, thumb. Now, we've already done our circles whilst we were standing up, but today what I want to do is give you some patterns to see if you can follow the patterns. So, watching with me, we're going to do thumb, middle, little finger. You can just do one hand if you want to, thumb, middle, little finger, and then try the other hand, middle, little finger, or you can do both together, thumb, middle, little finger, I don't mind. So let's get a new pattern, are you ready? Peter pointer, middle, thumb. Peter pointer, middle, thumb. You try it by yourself. Let's do a new one. Little, ring, middle, Little, ring, middle. You try it by yourself. Okay, last one. Let's see if you can remember four. Thumb, middle, little, pointer. Thumb, middle, little, pointer. You try by yourself. Well done. Now, for today, you're going to need the cat shape worksheet that I would have sent home or is on the website to download. So if you're looking for the worksheets, they are on the Griffin OT website. Just search for Griffin OT. And then on the homepage, there's a link to the Fine Motor Skills uh, with Kim. And that is where you'll find all of the worksheets. They are in reverse order. If you can't print them, you can always just uh, draw them out and then you'll have them there. Also, if you want to receive them in your inbox, just join the mailing list and tick the option at the bottom for fine motor activities with Kim and I'll drop those out every sort of Friday afternoon I'll send out the sheets for the next week. What we're going to do is make a cat face today instead of a human face. So I'm thinking I'm going to give my cat some whiskers as well as a mouth. I wonder what you guys will do with yours. Let's do some eyes. Well they're quite big eyes today. 
gonna give him little pupils today as well. Oh, actually I've got an idea, I've got a pencil there. I'm gonna poke some eyes, some pupils into his eyes. Ha ha. Give him a cat shaped mouth. Roll a piece. Do a cat shaped mouth and a little bit of a nose. And then I need some whiskers. Move his eyes up a little bit. some yellow ears for my cat as well. Triangles with my Play-Doh. Awesome. So there's my cat. I really would love to see what you guys got up with. Don't forget to send me some pictures on Facebook or on Twitter. It's okay if you're not finished. I've heard a couple of mums have said that they haven't quite finished before I've been finished, and that's okay. You can just keep going whilst, uh, when the video finishes, you can just keep working on the activities, and you could also try and make a different shape later on with your um, cat as well. So it's completely up to you. You don't need to finish at the same time I'm finishing. You can go at your own pace. I just want to give you the ideas that you can uh, do throughout the day. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, I'm taking a break on the weekend, but I will be back on Monday with some new activities. Just as a heads up for next week, you're going to need some paper. So I've got tissue paper and a bit of old wrapping paper and some newspaper that I'm going to use. You can also use magazines. It doesn't need to be special new paper. Scraps will be perfect because we are going to be ripping it up and using it to decorate for craft. So have a look around the house this weekend and see what you've got. I will also send out the worksheets to anyone on the email list this week. Uh, I'll send that out this afternoon. And if you haven't joined the email list yet, you can always download them from the Griffin OT website. If you just search for Griffin OT, and then on the homepage, there is a link to the Find Motor Activities with Kim, and that's where you'll find the worksheets for each week. I am putting them up in reverse order. So the older ones will be at the bottom and the newer ones will be at the top. Just as a heads up for the next few weeks, we're going to need some wool in a couple of weeks. So I know stuff's a bit tricky to get a hold of at the moment. So um, I'd suggest about two balls of wool per child, because uh, we're going to use it over a couple of different weeks for different activities. Uh, I'm also going to do some activities with pipe cleaners in a few weeks time. So if you do have any at home, keep a hold of them. If you don't have any, see if you can get some. You will need a toilet roll, just an empty toilet roll. And I know uh, there's lots of toilet rolls floating around in homes at the moment. And also uh, a stick like this, you'll need two of these per child. We need sort of short, they need to be about half size. So if you've got shorter ones, you'll need four. You could also use uh, toothpicks or um, skewers or something like that. A slightly wider sticks works does work better, but if you can't find them, uh, then toothpicks or sort of smaller sticks will work well as well. I hope you all have a nice weekend. I know it's a very uh, different, very different to what you probably would be expecting to do, uh, but hopefully you've found some good things to do and I will see you on Monday. Mm -hmm.